Before I start with that, let me just once again thank the NBC staff for total commitment, total commitment. It's been a three weeks of, of doing what we've never done before, almost like going into uncharted grounds in terms of where we are. And here I would want to refer from the securities at our gates to the cleaners, to literally everybody, because even just the studios to look great, mm -hmm. you need people to do that, up to the level of those that are in the technical area of making things happen, mm -hmm. the support staff and all of that. And then secondly as well, MICT, because we've also been making use of, of their crews across the country as well. And then of course there's an element of NMH also uh, working together with us. But importantly, the military, Without the military, we would not be there. Remember, this is their event, and they've been very, very, very helpful. And then, of course, the people of Namibia, and then people like yourself who are at the front, who are the face of what NBC is, particularly for the past three days Yeah. Now, reflecting on the day itself, uh, it, look, when I got the call, I, I don't know what I felt. It was like, it's not real. And I just reconfirmed, is it? Is it really? And then the immediate thing I did was to call my ED. I spoke to him, and then I called my minister. I spoke to him, and I also called uh, our, our deputy minister so that they are just aligned. And then uh, I think Tate uh, Namanje, uh, uh, was also assisting the family, so I had a chat with him as well, and I also had a chat with the current president. So we had to work out now what needed to be done. So there had to be sort of a consensus in yes, of the in mind terms in terms of, of how we should go with this year. Go about it. Yeah, and then at that time, the crew was relatively small. Mm -hmm. As you know, it's weekend, and weekends, we, we scaled down. Particularly, I think it's the most silent day out of the seven all, days. All days. Of all yeah. days, yeah. So we had Blanche, I think Mr. Stephen Kotzer, and then uh, Mr. Karipi at our final control. So they started putting together a loop that, that sought to make sure that we get on air, we do things. But the beautiful thing, Ricardo, was that once it became known, we did not have to go and look for people. People just came themselves. Radio was up, the teams came, where can I help, what can I do? And long before we knew, we had a fully-fledged team running all the way, all the way. Because I remember there was a saying for me as well, and I think it's the natural reaction. The moment the news came, I think I also texted, I think it was uh, uh, Mr. Denk and Sophia to, to say, I'm ready, we can go anytime. Yes. Yeah. I think that was the conversation initially. I think also speaking to, to, to KZ as well, very, very early in the morning to say, okay, how are we moving on this thing? The news came out. Uh, and I think when you're saying now that you didn't have to look for people once the yes. news came out, again, just a testimony of, of, of the Namibian spirit yeah, and that, that commitment. That, that yeah, that commitment. And then from there, the next day, the Monday, I had, uh, I created like a war room type of setup. Mm. And then on the double was meeting, talking, and we said, I, I gave direction to say, colleagues, this one is, is something that we also don't know how to handle, but look, here's the thing. Change the grids, change the schedules, we accommodate. We worked out plans, both radio, TV, and online, and then we started running from there. And in the process, as we were moving, it, it was almost like the, the pieces of the puzzle were actually getting to, you know, fitting by themselves. But I must say, it took a lot of work. But as I said about, uh, I think, three, three, three weeks ago, the planning of running one of the channels as a current affairs was that we would have commenced in April. Mm -hmm. And I said that the death of our late president, in a way, forced us and catapult us into the process where we are today. And it's, and it's really, really, it's, it's been working well. Long hours for many of the colleagues, so we will have to tweak a thing, one or two here and here, there. Last Friday, I, last Friday, I left here at about five ish or so, so I went to sit at some space just to drink mm. a cold drink. You know, I'm from the Oros Club, mm. so <laughs> as I was seated there, a friend came and he asked me, Digi, are you ready? 
And then I was like, why is this guy asking me, am I ready? And I started almost doubting myself. But I said to myself, no, but this is what we do. I said, no, we are ready for the weekend. We'll take it on the chin and we will make it happen. And today, I'm a, I'm a very proud Director General, a very proud Namibian, because you guys and the rest of the team, you really lived up to what, what it was. There's, of course, also that responsibility to the rest of the continent because we are the primary broadcaster. There's a certain responsibility as a public broadcaster to provide access to the rest of the continent. Just reflect on that, the access for the rest of the continent and the rest of the world. Yeah, that, that one for us, uh, we had to negotiate with Maldi Choice, given that they, they have a footprint that extends up to about Nigeria. Mm. So I contacted Mr. Herzer, the, the managing director for Maldi Choice Namibia, and I said, look, this is what we are having. We, we would want to spread our signal because the interest from a, from a Southern African Broadcasters Association is there. How do we do this? And then he said, no, they will assist. Uh, but then issues of quality, we had that discussion as well. Remember, our output on their end was standard definition, which is HD, H, H, uh, which is SD. SD. Yeah. And then I said to him, but there's a condition. That condition is that you need to boost the signal to be HD, HD. which is high definition. Yeah. Otherwise, a bad impression will be created about what our image looked like. And they accepted that. And then we started doing testing and it worked well. But then now we have those that are not necessarily on the DSTV bouquet mm -hmm. of, of channels. So for that, we created a, a special, uh, special connectivity. And linked to that as well, we uploaded the programs also on YouTube for those that will be struggling in connecting. So for now, things have been working well. Mm -hmm. I, I only had a little bit of a scare yesterday. There was a moment of between, I think, 15, 20 seconds where we went off air because at the, um, at, at, the, at the stadium, someone came and unplugged our uplink connectivity. But luckily for us, we brought in a gadget from South Africa that would serve as a redundancy. So when that happened... The insurance the, the, policy had to kick in quickly. The colleagues just switched <laughs> over and we were back on air. And this is where I realized that, you, you know what, when people say take out insurance... Take it out. You must do it. Just imagine now if we had not had that. Because the problem of trying to find where the potential problem could be would take us a bit of time, and Definitely. that would have frustrated millions of people. And of course, in television time, one, two, three seconds uh, is uh, already it's, too it's, long. Yes, yes. It's already too long. Yes, yes. In terms of this, of course, one of the things that I know that you're very passionate about is creating connection and access for the grassroots level uh, for communities to understand and get information in their languages. Uh, the radio services have been instrumental in that. You had made a very, very... Uh, uh, strong, strong and assertive a commitment to make sure that they are also running at the same pace uh, with television as well. Just reflect on a little bit on One, the importance 100 of percent. And in our discussions almost daily since mm -hmm. the passing, it was like radio, television and online, everybody should be there. So what we've been doing is that uh, for Touch FM, which is the youth station, which is English, and National FM, it's relatively okay. It dovetails easier with what you do. But for all other language services that are in vernacular, we there said that, look, get our presenters, get a resource person who understands the politics, who can speak about the late, and then you do your interpretation in the language that the listeners are getting to. And that has also worked extremely, extremely well because I got calls about people who are staying on farms who only have access to radio, appreciating what has been happening. So for us, I, I, I believe we, we've done the best that, that, that we can. It's, it's, it was a matter of, we were also not too sure how to tackle this thing, but as it was evolving on a daily basis, we started seeing how to put everything into place as well. And then of course, from a resource perspective, um, we've also seen the things that we need that we may not have. And that, that was going to be my next question in terms of the resources. Because many people don't know, I mean, I think there were two or three pictures that were shared behind the scenes. And there were about 28, 30 cameras uh, being, 
you know, organized and, 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 and being set up. Just talk to us about the re resource requirement and, you know, the additional staff and resources that needed to come in. Yeah, let, let me start with the one which is hilarious. Mm. Someone was saying, oh, this NBC, so they know these things. Why were they hiding the cameras? <laughs> now, <laughs> the, the thing is, in terms of broadcast, in order for you to be able to have high definition quality on your TV, it's the same. Like now, even if we or any other channel is, is broadcasting in high definition, but your TV at home is not attuned to that, you will not get that quality. Mm -hmm. Now within broadcasting, it's a whole chain. It starts with a camera that records, and then there's a loop feeding into broadcast, mm -hmm. final control, final termination, uh, termination, up to uplink, and then transmitters getting on, and then reaching your home. So if that stream as a, as, as a process getting to the final, final picture that gets to your house, if it is also not fully attuned to be high definition, then nothing can happen. Because you can have everything here. You can have all those cameras, but if your system that is transmitting is not there, that creates a problem. What we did, Ricardo, last, late last year, I think Blanche did an interview. I did inform the nation that NBC 1 and 2 are actually high definition. Mm. But whether people believed us or not, I, I don't know. Mm. But the events of uh, the past three weeks have forced Namibians now to be attuned with NBC, radio, TV, and online. In fact, I had someone saying they've never watched NBC this much. And the same person the next day calls me, which was yesterday, says that, oh, so my TV license fee that I've been paying, I feel... I, I, I'm getting the value out of that. And my remark was simple. It's to say that sometimes we will give a view over what things are based on what people are saying. So until you go in and experience it yourself, you will not know. This is what we do on a daily basis. This is our job. This is our lives. It's a way of life for us. So the challenge now is that comes next week, we can't go back. We have to keep the momentum. We have to be that news and current affairs entity that can actually keep the things going. So from our end, I, I, I believe uh, we've, we've done a, a great deal of good. And, uh, and we hope that as NBC, we've been able to portray and allow Namibians to be part of a process in terms of the whole process of getting to where we are today, which is the actual burial ceremony so and and and, and I, I i'm tempted to believe that we've succeeded in that the thing of course is also going forward in terms of the programming um, what are we looking at uh, going forward once the burial is done in terms of maintaining sort of the legacy and continuing with some of the conversations naturally these conversations will go ahead but you must also know that even within the transition mm -hmm. there's changes that came in politically in terms of where and what Namibia should be. So as an NBC now, we will have to think about how do we reflect everything. Mm. Because at the base, at the core, what we must create is harmony within all of us. So we will just do what we know best. But one thing that we will be doing, particularly from a television perspective, we already have Good Morning Namibia, which runs from six to nine live. Mm. So the, uh, the block now from nine to one will also have to have uh, current mm. sort of Content, happenings yeah. within it. And then one between one and two, it's already taken care of because we have the news and then it's Iron Siding. And then from two up to six, we are also relatively safe there because already from six, Nina's show starts, and then from there, it's the live discussion programs then leading us into the news. So in terms of where we are, would be to see how do we, how do we mobilize resources. And hopefully, our, our minister and the minister of, of finance, and then also the director general of national planning of Namibia, I'm hoping that they are listening, because currently there's a request on the table of the minister of finance. If we get that, yes. Already within the next three to four months, there will be major improvements in terms of what we will be having on the table. Yeah, but all in all, Ricardo, I just need to go back again and really just thank the NBC staff for commitment going beyond the call of duty. That's all I can ask it because our last meeting, by the way, finished last night at about half past one. 
and we were planning for this morning already. <laughs> and <laughs> we as have to the be on air at yes, six. <laughs> and, and as the person who must give hope to the staff, mm. I was party to that as well, discussing, quickly reflecting, mm. and then saying, how do we start the day? Even though we know that we had our plans, yeah, as and you I know. Think, and I think for many, for many people, obviously, they're seeing you in a suit here. They don't know that the last two days you were up and down here in I, a T-shirt. <laughs> hey, hey, I tell you, yeah, but this mm. is what we do. This is our life. It's our 100%. way of life. And, 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 we, and we like and we love what we're doing. And, as, and, and for the warmth that we've been receiving, we don't take that for granted. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade DG, for making time out to just come and reflect on, on, on the coverage and provide that confidence to the nation. Always a pleasure, Ricardo. Thank you very, very much.